Hello and welcome to the 16th lesson of our WordPress beginner to advanced course where our ultimate goal is to become job ready to start providing freelance services with WordPress and Elementor on Upwork, Fiverr or whatever freelance marketplace you would love to work on and so far we have learned almost everything we need to know about WordPress management and now we are learning about Elementor page builder. We are learning who, how we can create beautiful web pages for our clients using Elementor and we are learning the lessons practically. In my most recent class, I have shown how we can create a beautiful web page similar to this one. I have covered this section, this section and this section. And now in this lesson, I'm going to cover this section where we have got this header and then this um, paragraph. Then we have got icon box with these buttons and we have got these sections as well. I'm going to cover this section which is similar to this one and this section so now without further ado let me take you to my wordpress dashboard and after that let me take you to pages and then here is the page we have created in our most recent class and we have practiced now let me open this in a new tab and here we go this is the design which we have created in our most recent class and if you just notice this design which we have created is not pixel perfect obviously with the original document here and this is because just of the time shortage i try my best to provide you the education of the usage of the tool so in a short period of time so this is the reason why it is not looking like pixel perfect please don't worry because as you are learning the usage of the tools if you spend some time you will be able to create pixel perfect designs for your clients and obviously we are going to create few pixel perfect works in our future lessons as i'm going to educate you about the base knowledge about the tools usage of tools and options available on elementor so that i will be able to work on the real project faster so that you will be able to understand as you will have the base knowledge which is required so without further ado and one thing that i would love to request you guys please practice the works whatever i am showing you on the lessons please practice as you will practice you are going to face some struggles you are going to face some troubles and then while you are going to overcome the troubles or the struggles you will be able to find out few uh, a few new uh, skills you'll be able to learn new skills which is going to help you in the long run long run so now let me just delete these things from here delete this page section from here and i would love to keep our original document and the page where i am going to add the information so i want to add this part and this part throughout this lesson and i'm going to add them right here right after these sections okay so to start adding contents in this page i have to click on this edit with elementor button and now it will load the elementor page builder editing panel if i take you here in the bottom we are going to find these options as you can see plus so if i click on plus i would love to take this one column structure so let's click on one column structure and here we go now if i take you back to the original document and here we have got one heading and one paragraph so let me take them first so let me take you to widgets and after that this heading let me drag and drop it right here and after that let me take you to widgets again let me drag this text editor and drop it right here and i have got heading and paragraph text wi uh, widget now let me take you back here if i copy this content from here let me take you back click here to select this element and then paste the information that you have copied and here we go and you already know how these things works if you have watched my previous lesson so now let me take you to from alignment as i'm seeing this alignment if i click on this center alignment we are going to get this heading aligned in center now let's go with the next option which we have got this one so let's copy this text and let me take you back let's click here and let me paste this information here so one thing that i have noticed is if you just notice this one is in two line this paragraph is in two line and they're in center alignment so let me take you back again and after that i would love to take it to center aligned first so go to style for text editor you have to go to style to find this alignment option and then click on center so now it is aligned in center and after that if you notice that we have got a break point in Loctus so they are in two lines and the line break on Loctus word so let me go back here and after that if I take you to content as it is selected now let me take you to text 
and then uh, from here elite uh, tell us look to us here is the word so after look to us we can add in add a html tag to break this line and we have got one more option which is by using padding so let me use html tag first so that you'll be able to learn from this so from look to us sorry after look to us if i put angle bracket and br and then the angle bracket just take a look we have got this line uh, separated all right so if i click on update and let me preview this page in a new tab so that you will see the difference just take a look or change now let me take you back now i want to remove this br tag from here and let me click on update and let me reload this page just take a look we have got this line uh, paragraph in one line and now i want to break this line by using padding so if i take you back here on the editor panel of elementor if i click you to advanced from advanced you are seeing uh, seeing one merging and one padding stuff so i am going to work with padding so if i unlink this one and then from right if i provide 300 pixels of padding and then on left if i pull paste 300 pixels of padding just take a look we have got the exact thing done by using the html tag so if i click on update and if i take you back reload this page and here we go we have got the change done so now how this padding things work so padding works inside a box as you can see here we are seeing that in left side a border here in the right uh, top we have got border in right we have got border this bottom we have got this border so if we just notice here on top i have got zero and for this zero i am not seeing any space here and for bottom i have got zero for this we are not seeing any spaces here added in the bottom but in left we have got 300 pixels so we are seeing from left side under the inside the box from left side it taken 300 pixels and after 300 pixels we have got the content and from right side if i remove the right side just take a look how it is looking like from left side we have got 300 pixel gap but when i'm going to add right side 300 it is going to take some spaces in the right side as well and now they are placed in the middle with uh, these contents right so this is how padding stuffs work and we are going to learn more about these things for sure in our future lessons so let me click on update and if i take you back here on our original document it's time to work on these things where we have got this icon box and button so let me take you back to the editor and after that i want to take you to this widgets panel and then I'd love to take this inner section so that I'll have two columns added here. So let me drag this inner section right here. Here we go. We have got one column, two column. Now I want to click here on this plus icon so that you'll be able to see these widgets options. And now I want to type out here icon box or icon. You are going to get this icon box information. So let's drag this thing right here and just take a look we have got this icon and after icon we have got a button so let me take you back and then let's click on this widget and then let's type out here button or actually i am seeing button right here right so if i click here and drag this right here just take a look we have got this button added and as i am seeing the alignment appearing here so let me click on center so that it will be center aligned so now i would love to work on this one single button and after that i'm going to copy this button to save some time right so it will uh, it is a trick that you can follow or actually the way you can follow now i want to make the change as you can see here if i take you back let me just cross this out okay just take a look we have got this home icon appearing here so let me take work on this home icon so if i click here it is going to show me this icon if i click here then it is going to take you take us to this icon library now if i make a search for home we are going to find this home icon appearing so let's click on select and then click on insert now we have got this home icon so if i take you back we have got this icon colored with blue now i'm going to take you back and then go, let's go to style and then you can select this icon as you can see currently icon is selected and from primary color we can simply click here and then we can choose the color that you want to provide here right and then you can simply increase or decrease the size of the button based your need so i think 
35 is going to look nice here okay and then let's go back again if i want to change this thing copy and let's click here and then go to content and after that here is the title and description so if i change here title is here this one is title which is placed here so let me paste it here and this one is description which i'd love to copy from here copy the description let's go back and let's select this one delete and paste the description right here and just take a look how it is looking like right now let me take you back again here and if you just notice we have got this button and without hover the normal mode is we have got a background color added which is kind of uh, ash i'm not sure though the color and we have got the text color in blue and when we are hovering over we are seeing the blue background with white text so let me just make the change on this so if i click here and after that if you just notice we have got show more so let me just type out show more i have just clicked here and then we are seeing the options to make adjustment on the button so let me change the text from click here to show more and just take a look we have got this happened now let's stylize this button so we want to take you to style and after that as you can see here text color which should be blue as of now the normal mode should be blue and the background color as you can see in normal mode the background color is kind of uh, i don't know what is the color but let me just figure out and let's see so background color if i click here i'll be able to find this option to choose background color and let's say this is the background color that you, that you would love to take or would love to keep okay and then we have got to change the hover hover color so let me click on hover from here and after that the text color is going to be white as you can see whenever i am hovering over the text color is changing to white and the background color is blue so let me take you back so i have just selected white color for the text on hover and then i want the background color to be blue and now if i hover it over just take a look it is being changed right so this is how you have to make the change here now one thing that you should already have noticed or you might have noticed so as you can see i have got some spacings and you already know how we add these spacings i have done this thing here right so now let me show you how we can do this spacing for this specific uh, column so let me take you back and i have to click here and after that just i have selected this whole column right this column inside then let's go to advanced and from padding i am going to give a pairing of let's say 40 pixels from top 40 pixels bottom 40 pixels left 40 pixels right 40 pixels now i want to copy this whole thing here so if i simply click here or right button click on the right button of your mouse and then click on duplicate just take a look how it is working for us now let's click here let's click on duplicate and we have got three columns now i want to delete this part from here just take a look within few seconds i have got two more columns added with the exact settings right exact styles now it's time to customize these things and if you just notice we have got some border stuffs added here so let me work on these border stuffs so if i take you back and after that i'm going to select this whole section and after that from style i'm going to border and then as you can see the border type is currently selected to none let's click here and then select solid and then we are going to give the border white to one pixels and i'm going to select the color as well so let's say this color just an example okay and now if i click on update and if i just simply um hide the panel from here we are going to see a border is being added now one more thing that we have to do here as you can see in the right side in the middle of these things we have got some borders in the right and in this part as well so let me show you how we can add these borders and we have to actually give these borders uh, in this specific column so let me take you back and after that let's just um, open up the editing panel and then i have to select this column which is just selecting this column right just take a look these dotted things are selected here now let's click let me take you to style from here and after that for this column i want to have a right border so if i take you to border and then from none i'm going to select it to solid and then i want to unlink this one and from right or on right i want one pixel 
and the color is going to be again this ash color now if i simply hide this one just take a look how we have got this border added as well now i am going to copy the style of this column to this column and it is going to look nice and exactly as it is looking like here so let me take you back and after that let's open up the editing panel and then if i copy this style from here or okay copy this style and if i um click on the right button of the mouse and then paste the style right here just take a look here we have got this um border added as well right so this is pretty easy pretty simple if you know the shortcut way it is going to save you a lot of time so let me just click here and then if you want to make changes on these things so let me just show you by changing this one so let me click here and after that we are seeing the icon is saving so let me see save or saving or bank yeah bank as you can see piggy bank so let me click here and let me click on insert and just take a look we have got this piggy bank added and i'm going to edit these things uh, saving and then i would love to keep them as their this text okay exactly they're actually the similar ones okay so the same way if you want to make the change on percentage as you can see if you just simply click here go back here and then percentage here's the percentage which one okay this one and then click on insert just take a look how it is looking like then simply copy this text click here and then edit the title edit the description based on need and they are going to work nicely and if you want to uh, place some links on these show more buttons it is real easy i have shown the process so i don't want to spend more time simply go to content and you're going to just simply paste the link that you want to link right here okay so i'm going to skip these things as of now now if i want to get as you can see i have got few more options uh, sorry uh, one more row here containing these three columns so simple if i simply duplicate this whole section as you can see this whole section if, whenever i clicked here it is going to select this whole section if i click here and then click on duplicate just take a look i have just duplicated one more column so if i click here on update and if i preview this change in a new tab just take a look one thing that is a problem i which i am just noticing uh, we have got here we have got there one pixels but it as i have got one pixel and one pixel one pixel bottom and one pixel top for this uh, border i have got it two pixels been happened so i want to remove one pixel from here border so if i take you back if i click here and let's go to advanced and from okay not actually yeah from here if i take you to style and then from border as you can see it is currently selected to uh, one pixel so i would love to keep it to unlick and then from top i am going to remove one pixel from here and then if i click on update and let me reload this page and just take a look it is currently looking real real nice and the way i have changed the information for these sections or these things you can simply change the information for these things so i'm going to skip these things to save some that some of your times so let me just give the alignments as you can see or the spacings as you can see here we have got 100 pixel and 100 pixels uh, top button padding stuff or margin stuff so let me just take you back here and after that actually here and after that i'd love to click here and then from advanced i want to give like let's say yeah on padding i'm going to give on top 100 pixels of padding and on bottom i'd love to give 100 pixels of padding just take a look we have got some extra spaces added and now it is looking really really beautiful right and now let me just uh, okay so one thing i'm noticing here we have got some curves here right so border radius now let me show you how you can add this border radius thing so if i take you back and then if i click here and we have given a border right here right one pixel one pixel one pixel one pixel here so i want to give a border radius i'm going to unlink this one i want on top border radius i want five pixels and and on let's say on left i want to give five pixels or actually i i just top bottom okay 
so top and then i'd love to give like right actually it should be right five pixels if i click on update and let me just reload this page to see yes we have got this top and right uh, corners now it's time to give the same corners right here actually the border radius right here in the bottom part as they are available here so let me take you back again and after that if i select this part uh, section and then from border if i provide let's say from where is radius yeah here we go from i'm going to unlink this one first bottom should be five pixels and the left should be five pixels and just take a look they are working on bottom and the left here actually are in the bottom here and now if i click on update and if i reload this page you are going to find that yeah just take a look it's looking real real similar exactly in the pixel perfect work actually here right so this is how you have to work on these things and now i have to add a shape divider right here so let me take you back after that let's click here or actually on this part hmm. okay and then from style we are going to find this shape divider and then on bottom we want tilt and then we have to hmm, i'm not being able to see any change and this is because the color is uh, white here so if i change the color first hmm, okay it should be like let me see yeah this one actually so it should be like from this side to this side let me take you back mm, okay okay one thing that i'm I, i'm making a mistake here i don't need to place any shape divider right here so instead i have to add a shape divider on the other other section so let me just go for this section so if i click here and then let's take this one structure and then let me change the background color and for background color i'd love to use uh, pixie which i have used in my previous lesson and demonstrated few more things about this tool so control alter copy let me take you back and then let's click on style from background i am going to change the background color and here we go and now okay yeah let's say this color okay so let me cross this out and then from here i'm going to copy and paste the styles from here okay so i'm going to copy and paste the thing right here hmm. and then i'm going to remove this part and okay now i want to have my specialties on the title so let me put and i'm actually going to show you what actually i'm doing you might getting confused now please don't worry i'm going to make this so what i'm actually doing here as i have got the same structure here though we have got some change in the background color and etc etc but the structure is similar so i've just copied these things to save the time and you are going to learn about these things um soon you are going to understand about these works that i am doing here pretty real soon so here and then i'm going to remove this part from here and after that we have got these things so let me take you back i'm going to remove these buttons from here remove this button remove this button and actually they are going to be image box not these um icon box so i'm going to remove these things as well they should be image boxes now let me take you back and from here if i type out image and here we go we have got image box i have to provide this image so let me open this image up in a new tab say oh actually i should have this image already in this page somewhere nope yeah here is the image so let me select and insert just take a look we have got this image added now let me oops sorry about the about the mess up so let me copy this realistic stuff from here heading real estate then i have got this um description and then i'm going to work on this 
first so as you can see we have got some border radius in this image simple go back to the editor and after that we are going to style then let's find out border if you can notice border right here no border okay go to advanced here we go on advanced we have got border and then we are going to give border radius to 50 and mm -hmm, it should be working here on the image so let's click here and then I have given this border radius to 50 it should work hmm. so maybe on this image image position let me see image image hmm. style what yeah here we go we have got this border radius here for this image edit image box and the border radius is going to be given here so if I simply take it to 50 it should look exactly is it is looking like here right and the column background is going to be yeah let me see yeah column background is going to be changed to white so here is it is going to be like this and just take a look how close it is so you might going to get confused by this part please don't worry we are going to learn more about these things i'm going to explain more about these things about these stops in our future lessons but for now let me go like this because i have just noticed something okay so i am going to give some gaps in between so if i click here and then from here column gap as as you can see here we are seeing i've just selected this whole section from column uh, from layout we are getting this column gap if i take it to narrow oops no narrow extended hmm. I'm not seeing any gap so in this case what we want to do here we can simply use uh, margin stops for each of these columns so if I click here from advanced from margin if I let's say uncheck this one and from uh, right if I want let's say 10 pixels of margin just take a look how it is looking like and if I copy this style from here and paste the style right here oops hmm paste the style actually paste style so that just take a look how it is looking like right so this is how we can make the adjustment of these images and other stuffs and now i would love to increase the size of this or height of this section and for this i have to take you back to layout and after that from height if i increase this height like this just take a look how it is looking like and then I'm going to give the shape divider on the top. So if I take you to style from shape divider, we are going to use this tilt. And yeah, from height, we are going to select the height to this, which is looking uh, quite similar to this one. And after that, yes, it's looking great. And after that, on the bottom, I'm going to add another um, tilt which is going to be tilt and it is going to be flip and the height is going to be a little lower okay so just take a look how it is looking like and we are almost close to this design as well now we can simply change the image based on our need like this and then simple choose it right here okay so this is the way and then if you want you can simply change this title change this description like this okay so this is the section which i have just clicked all right guys so this is how and one more thing that i'd love to show you the border radius stuff and after that i'm actually going to uh, conclude this video because i have to do some more work so if i click here and after that if you just notice here on style from border if i want to give some border radius let's say 10 pixels and just take a look we have got some border yeah and i'm going to copy this style paste this style right here paste this style right here and you are you should be able to see the change that you have made now if i click on update let me just preview this change in a new tab and just take a look that we have learned about these sections about this section about this section as well so this is it for this tutorial guys and i'm going to show you a few more works in my next lesson 
uh, we are going to work on these things and we might going to spend more time on uh, making this web page um, better okay in one of our future lesson so thank you so much for watching this far and i believe you have found this lesson helpful and interactive and if you have found this video helpful if you have learned something new please let me know by commenting below and please give this video a like and share this complete course with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and i have to see you in the next video thank you so much have a good day